Hey folks, I'm John Laspina, your carnivore teacher. Today we're going to talk about myths that are often believed. I believed a lot of these myths, actually. I'm going to talk about five of them, and I'll show them right over here. The first one is that sunshine is bad for you. The myth that if you get sun, you're going to get cancer. You're going to get skin cancer, melanoma carcinoma, very bad, don't go in the sun, slather lots of sunscreen on constantly and put more sunscreen on after a few hours because it wears off. And people are buying all this SPF sunscreen, they're spraying their skin. And that's a myth, ladies and gentlemen. We need the sunlight. The sunlight helps our body create the hormone vitamin D. We have in our skin cells in there on top oil, natural oils. It's called sebum. And the sun with the sebum, it creates the vitamin D hormone and it soaks into our skin. Don't take a shower for that day and allow your body to absorb the vitamin D. It's the best bioavailable vitamin D source that you can possibly get. Can you get too much sun? Of course, you can burn and peel and blister. You don't want that. But people who go out and just are petrified of any sunshine, that's what the myth has done. It has scared a lot of people and they are slathering on and covering up too much. We need some sun. I live in the sunshine state of Florida. I love the sun. And ever since I stopped consuming seed oils five and a half years ago, about maybe two years in, I stopped burning. I could lie out in the sun or work in the sun or play in the sun. And I notice I get tan, I don't get burned. Now, if I stay out for too many hours, I may burn. But I can tell my own N equals one experiment that I do not get sunburn nearly as fast or as easily as I used to before. So sun is good. I break that myth. The second myth, you need to eat in the morning to have energy. That breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That is a myth that the cereal companies made up to sell their cereals. Can you believe that? Breakfast is not the most important meal of the day. The most important meal of the day is your first meal of the day, which I guess technically is your break fast, but it doesn't have to be in the morning, in the AM. We get our energy from within. We, of course, need food to give us our nutrition, but our energy comes from the ketones that we make, from the glycogen that we've stored. Our liver makes glucose. We don't need to eat it. So no, the breakfast is not the most important meal of the day, and it's not where you get most of your energy. The third myth is that saturated fat and cholesterol are bad for you. Boy, am I tired of hearing this. And I've made many videos about cholesterol. Uh, we need cholesterol. You've heard me say this before if you know my channel. We need cholesterol to make the bile to break down the fats that we eat. We need cholesterol to make the myelin sheaths, which is like the insulation around our axons and norns and all of our nerve endings. We need that. We need cholesterol to make testosterone and estrogen and progesterone. We need cholesterol in every part of our body. It's essential. So to take a statin to lower it is crazy. To say that cholesterol is bad is a myth. That is a very strong myth that many people believe to this day, and it's hard to break it. It's almost like the echo of the lie just continues on and on and on, even if the professionals and the doctors and the studies came out and told the truth that cholesterol is not harmful, people will still believe the echo of the myth of the lie from years and years and years and years and generations and decades of hearing it repeatedly. Saturated fat. What is saturated fat? Well, saturated fat is a molecule that is saturated with hydrogen atoms all around the outside and there's not a single space for anything else to fit in there. It's saturated with hydrogen. That's a very stable fat to cook with. It won't break, denature. It will not oxidize very easily with light, heat, or time. It's saturated. And the saturated fats are mostly animal products. Beef tallow, bacon fat, chicken schmaltz, butter and ghee, pork lard. That's mostly saturated. And there are, there are some poly and monounsaturated fats in all of those fats, but the, 
the majority is mostly saturated. It's healthy, it's strong, it's stable, and it does not clog your arteries. It does not cause atherosclerosis. Saturated fat is nutrition for your body. It's energy for your body. You don't want polyunsaturated fats. That same molecule is missing a few hydrogen atoms. There's a space and that means that it likes to oxidize. It's looking for a hydrogen atom or giving up and taking atoms. And that's when they break and denature, cause oxidative stress, inappropriate inflammation. And these oils are canola oil, soybean oil, cottonseed oil, rice bran oil, peanut oil, safflower oil, sunflower seed oil, margarine and Crisco. Those are polyunsaturated PUFAs and they're very bad for you. Now there's a small amount of PUFAs in some saturated fats, but those fats are mostly saturated. You don't want to have plant fats. They are mostly polyunsaturated. I like to stay away from the monounsaturated a little bit too, because they're just too fragile. They're not saturated with hydrogens and they can break as well. Olive oil is wonderful and everything, but you raise the heat too high, it breaks. It's old, it breaks. Too much light comes through the glass, it breaks. Time, heat, light, I stick with saturated animal fat. So saturated fats and cholesterol, myth. It's not bad for you, it's good for you. Eating salt is bad for you. Oh, I'm sick of that myth too. I've heard that all my life, too much salt. It's too salty. And you see these products that have lower sodium, lower salt. We will die without salt. We must have salt. Salt is part of the electrolyte system in our body. It conducts our electrical system. Salt helps carry the fluids with every molecule of salt or molecule of water. We must have our electrolytes at sodium, magnesium, potassium. Salt is important. Salt to taste. If something tastes too salty, your body is sending the signal that you have enough. If something tastes really good, salted, that's your body sending the signal that you need salt. It's that simple. Salt is not bad. Let's break that myth. Now, if you already have familial hypertension, that means you inherited some form of high blood pressure, or you have high blood pressure for some other reason other than diet, if you have more salt, that will raise your blood pressure a little bit. It will. And that's why they tell people who have high blood pressure to watch their salt intake. When I became a low carb eater, my blood pressure dropped because my arteries were more malleable. They were not glycated with all the carbs and sugar. So when you're eating properly, you won't have high blood pressure unless you're inheriting some kind of issue or the high blood pressure is being caused by something else. But salt in a healthy human is required and necessary. It should not be demonized. All right, the last myth of the five that I'm gonna talk about today is high protein diets are bad for your kidneys. Have you heard that one? I have heard that in my keto carnivore space. So many people say, but isn't eating too much meat, all that protein, isn't that bad for your kidneys? Aren't you gonna get kidney problems or kidney failure? Absolutely not, it's the opposite. It's high carbohydrates and sugar that cause kidney problems. That's what causes type two diabetes and the worst thing for a type two diabetic, it hurts the kidneys along with other organs. Having a lot of protein, which I'm having adequate, the amount of protein that I'm supposed to have. So I know that my kidneys are functioning fine because I got my blood work my kidney, my filtration rate, all of that stuff shows after five and a half years of eating low carb that my kidneys are functioning optimally, perfectly, and I'm a high protein eater and a high fat eater. So those are the five myths I wanted to share with you. Sunshine is good for you. You need to not worry about eating in the morning. You can if you want, but it's not required. Saturated fat and cholesterol are actually good for you. Eating salt is required and necessary for a healthy life. And high protein or moderate protein diets are good for your kidneys. I just broke those five myths. If you like this content, click the thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I wish you an excellent day.